Hey, happy Friday Eve, everyone. It's Weather for Weather Geeks time on this Thursday. Another beautiful day out there. We'll get to the weather here in just a second. Uh, real quick, pretty major earthquake uh, just occurred about uh, 15 minutes ago before I recorded this. I'm recording this a little after 2, and at 1.51 uh, Eastern this afternoon, we had a 6.1 earthquake up in Alaska. This is northwest of the Anchorage area, which is in southern Alaska. So uh, we'll see... Uh, what comes out of this aftershocks wise and as far as any damage this uh, just happened right before I recorded this I, I suspect this is a pretty remote area out in the mountains uh, northwest of Anchorage but uh, can't say that I'm a, an Alaska expert we'll see what uh, the news brings us uh, later on today out of that and uh, as far as our weather goes back here at home of course it's just fantastic outside again the sun is shining not so nice on the east coast where yesterday's storm which was down here in uh, parts of Virginia and North Carolina is now heading up and bringing the rain to New York City and uh, Hartford and Boston and Providence. The the back edge of that cloud shield did edge in last night, some thin cirrus clouds, and now we just got a few, and I mean a few, cumulus clouds out there this afternoon. Most of the uh, the beefier clouds are east of the Allegheny Front in, uh, in west central parts of PA this afternoon. Looking at the rest of the country, I'll take off the satellites. This loads a little faster. There's not a whole lot of trouble spots out there this afternoon. Uh, we still have some rain out in the Pacific Northwest, which as soon as it loads, it'll show you. Actually, they had a fair amount of rain in San Francisco this morning. Uh, they haven't had rain out there in what seems like forever, and they really could use some not only in San Francisco, but in all of Northern California. There's been some wildfires out here in the Sierra Nevada Mountains, east of San Francisco, east of Sacramento. And, and yes, indeed, there, there are a few showers trying to pop into the Sierras there, so that is a good thing for them. So the Northwest getting active, and of course they see most of their wet weather during the fall, uh, winter, and early spring seasons out there in the Northwest. A lot of our other rain is down in Florida and uh, off the Gulf of Mexico this afternoon. So that's a, a quick overview of what's going on now. I'll show you the temperatures quickly here. In the two o'clock hour, we have temperatures around 70. Turn off the loop here so we just show the current information. 70 in Youngstown, 71 Newcastle, lower 70s. Akron Canton, New Philly's at 75, Pittsburgh's at about 73, and uh, we'll climb another degree, maybe two, before the afternoon is through. Those dew points are way down there in the 50s, so the humidity is negligible. Again, it's just about perfect outside this afternoon. You gotta love it. All right, as far as what's going to happen in the coming days, uh, nothing. <laughs> That's the answer. More sunshine is an area of high pressure is uh, situated uh, over the eastern Great Lakes, and it's just going to throw an anchor down and just hang out for... Uh, several days in a row, giving us more sunny and beautiful weather in the short and medium term. This is Monday, so we've skipped ahead to early next week. At this point, some moisture will be gathering down in the southeast, and the big question is what happens with that. Some of the modeling earlier this week did try to bring it up the Ohio Valley during midweek, but most of the models now are sort of shunting it off to the east as that high-pressure zone flexes its muscles. So I'll tell you, the odds are looking better and better that we stay dry through at least the middle of next week, if not all the way to the end of next week. This is a uh, Thursday morning, a week from today. Our next best chance to get wet will be with this front, which here on the GFS is out across the Midwest next Thursday morning. And if the timing on this is to be believed, it could arrive here Thursday night into Friday. That's the next chance of seeing precipitation, I suspect, in eastern Ohio and western PA a week from right now. So our beautiful weather is set to continue uh, for the next several days. Once we get past... Uh, Next weekend, I'm talking about, you know, the, the 4th and 5th of October, which still could be fairly warm. Once we get past that, the pattern may start to change some. Here's the latest uh, climate forecast system model of forecast temperature anomalies. In other words, the difference from average. The oranges, the warmer colors indicate warm air. The bluers, the greens, those are uh, cooler than average temperatures. Here's the five-day period at the start of October. So from actually September 30th through the morning of the 5th, we're still above average. But then after that, notice what happens. We, we probably do start to see the pattern breaking down a little bit from the, uh, you know, the 5th on or the 4th or the 5th onwards. So as we head into the second week of October, the models are, are indicating that we could have a period where it's at least close to average or a little below average, average early October, middle and upper 60s. So, uh, in the meantime, status quo probably for another eight or nine days, perhaps even another 10 days before the pattern uh, does change, at least temporarily here in the eastern U.S. So, you know, we're going to be longing for this kind of a, of a stretch of weather not long from now. Last year, winter started to kick in in late November. We had snow uh, the weekend before Thanksgiving. And once it locked in, it pretty much locked in for the whole winter. So, you know, uh, it, we could only be a couple of months away from having accumulating snow and cold temperatures and the kind of stuff we typically don't like. So 
if you can, enjoy this while we have it. It looks like we've got another treat in store for seven or eight more days at least. That's today's Weather for Weather Geeks. Thank you for watching. We'll have another edition for your Finally Friday about 24 hours from right now. In the meantime, have a great Thursday.